Hey everybody, welcome back to Boost Your Income with Bootstrap to WordPress. This lecture is called Coding the Hero Section. All right, first things first on the realist. I mean, open your code editor and scroll down to your section uh, that we titled Hero in your index file. Now, in this lecture, we're going to be doing a little CSS as well. Throughout this whole course, throughout the bootstrap part especially, we're going to go back and forth from our HTML to CSS. So just a heads up, it's kind of, a, kind of my style. I like going back and forth. So we're going to be adding some classes, and then we're going to jump over to CSS, and we're going to style those classes so we see them in real time, just as a heads up. All right, give that section the idea of hero. And inside, actually, let's do that first. Inside here, let's give an HTML5 article tag div, and that's going to have the class of container. We know what container does. Container gives us that uh, wrapper inside of our full width section. So right here, section, this is the full width of the screen because we haven't given a specific fixed width on our body of our HTML page. But anything with the class of container has a fixed width or rather a responsive width and is centered in the middle of the page. So that's where we're going to be using container. We'll be using container a lot. And let's add the clear fix class because Bootstrap has a class in their CSS for a clear fix. And that will address the issue that we will come across here when we add our floated elements. When we have floated elements within a container or a div, a block level element, it will collapse on itself if you don't clear the elements before the container closes. So clear fix will fix that for us. Magic. It's beautiful. Saves me so much coding time. You too. All right. Div. Class row. This is a bootstrap class. And this will um, basically give us some styles. So when we add our columns in here, we're going to have a grid based layout in this section. Row is what you need to initially code to have your grid within it. There's documentation on it at getbootstrap.com. Make sure to check out the grid section and you will learn all about why you need to use rows to wrap your columns. Just trust me. I know what I'm doing, I think. Div class, call SM for small five. Let me explain this. We're gonna, you're gonna see a lot of these. Call SM and then a number. So in Bootstrap, they now have a new grid-based system where you can use classes and it's a way more robust grid system. Let me just open that up for you. Get bootstrap.com. Let's check out the CSS. Grid system. Here it is. This tells you everything you need to know about the grid system. Rows must be placed within a container, blah, 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 blah. blah. You can read that if you need to know, want to know a little bit more. But here's what you are going to concern yourself with right here. Call XS four or whatever number. It's also MD, LG, and SM. So here is the grid options. Here are the grid options right here. So extra small devices, small devices, medium devices, and large devices. Here are the class prefixes that you need to use if you want the grid to work on those devices. So for example, on a mobile device, if you don't want your three column grid to collapse down into a totally vertical layout, then use call XS and then whatever number. So if it's uh, if you have three columns, then you'll use call XS4, call XS4, so on and so forth, and that will maintain the grid layout for you. You'll see what I'm talking about as we start coding, but if you're unfamiliar with the new version of Bootstrap, go ahead and read the grid documentation here. It's pretty interesting, and I think it will blow your mind. Maybe not blow your mind, but you'll find it interesting. Okay, call SM5. That means for small devices, maintain the layout, but on mobile devices, just stack it vertically. All right, so let's just add our columns first, just so we can see. Div class, we need to add up to 12. So what is 12 minus 5? I believe that is 7. And this class will also be hero text because we're going to use some CSS to style our hero text. And we'll get there. Don't worry. Okay, so here we go. Inside our container, we have a row. Inside our row, we have some columns. These columns add up to 12. 5 plus 7 is 12. 
So they will have on one side five columns, and on the other side seven columns, where our hero text will be uh, there. Okay, inside our first one, let's add an image. Assets slash image slash logo dash badge dot PNG. That is in your image folder. Feel free to check that out. Bootstrap to WordPress. It is the really big badge. And this will have the class of logo because we're going to style that. So give that a just give that a look. There we go. There it is. All right, here we're going to add a level one heading and say bootstrap to WordPress. And then we're going to have paragraph with the class of lead. That's a bootstrap class. Makes your paragraph tag just a little bit bigger. Earn. An extra 1K to 5K a month by learning to code your very own responsive and custom WordPress websites with Bootstrap. Go ahead and type that out. If you don't want to type out the exact same thing, write whatever you want or use some lorem ipsum. Okay, so why don't we give that a look? Okay, so it's there, but something's going on here because you can see it's collapsing in under our nav. That is because our nav is a fixed navigation bar. We're going to need to use some CSS to pop that down. Don't worry about it. We will do that. But first, let's add the rest of the content, and then we'll style it up. Okay. Inside our div, we're going to add another div, the class or the ID of price-timeline. And here, we will put the timeline of the prices for this specific course. Price and active. So that is a class I'll be using. So we're gonna have a couple uh, more of these, but not with active on all of them. Just price, price, and price. Inside here, let's add a level four heading and say pre-launch price, and then in a small tag, let's say ends soon. And then after that, we're going to add a span tag and put the actual price. So let's say $149. Copy this so you don't have to write out the same markup again. Paste it in the next price. Change this to launch price. And let's just say coming soon. And that price will be $299. Paste again. And this will be final price. And that again will be coming soon. And then that price, let's make it $3.99. Give that a save, check it out. Okay, so here we have pre-launch and soon launch and final price. Great, we have our content, we'll style it eventually. And one last thing here, let's add a paragraph tag. Inside that paragraph tag, let's add an A tag with the class of BTN for button button large, and button danger. These are all bootstrap classes built in. So this is going to style this button real nice. It's going to be a button. It's going to be a large button. And it's going to have a button with the color uh, that is associated with danger, which is red. And that will have an href of... Right now, let's just put root because we'll put an actual link eventually. Roll button. Semantic. And roll, and then let's put HTML entity RA quo for right arrow quote. Save that, check it out. There's our enroll button, and it looks nice. It has all the styles pre built in. We didn't have to CSS that at all. I'm gonna stop you right there. Um, we're getting a little long with this lecture. We're at about nine minutes, five seconds. I don't like my lectures to be too long. I like them to be you know, bite-sized snippets. So it's not too much content to take in at once. I know I in the lecture that we're going to be using some CSS in this lecture, not. We're going to be do some, doing some CSS for this section in the next lecture. So consider it the same lecture, just part B. So see you in the next lecture where we're going to be styling our hero. <laughs>